There's no question that this is Jimmy's team now. And since he started his first game back in Chicago, he's had an effect on this team. And somehow the catch was made by Lewis Murphy. Not only did he march this team that was young and inexperienced to a five game winning streak, he was a leader from the beginning. He grabbed the opportunity in front of him and hasn't looked back. This is the type of effect Jimmy has had on this team. Richard Sherman signing. There is no shot Richard Sherman signs with the Niners if there's no Jimmy G. Let, let's just think about it for a second. Let's say it was CJ Beathard or maybe some other young rookie quarterback. The reason he really signed with the Niners, he saw a bright future in Jimmy G. Now, no disrespect to Cal Shanahan or uh, CJ Beathard or any rookie quarterback they would have picked up. It's different when you actually see a quarterback lead his team to victory and just be a leader. And Richard Sherman is a very smart dude. And he saw the winning the Niners were doing late last season. To me, that had a huge, huge impact on why Richard Sherman chose the Niners over other potential playoff teams that needed a quarter. To me, that was huge. That was a huge pickup. Not only the player that Richard Sherman could be or is, but also the leader Richard Sherman is, and he's already put his imprint on this defense and has shown the ability to lead these guys. I mean, we're seeing it in OTAs. Players want to play for Jimmy G. Recently in the news, the internet caught Dez Bryant answering some fans' questions. One of the questions was, hey Dez, what team would you like to sign with? Dez Bryant, being the vocal person that he is, simply replied, 49ers. And I don't know if this is fake, I don't know if this was just something that was made up, right? But it came up in this feed. And if you're Dez Bryant, I mean, why wouldn't you come with the Niners? The boys here are having fun. I mean, he later deleted his, his response on Instagram, but tells you a lot. Jimmy G has had an effect. By the way, he's a nice red zone target. Just saying, John Lynch. I mean, if we can get him for cheap, why not take a shot at Dez? National media is buying into the hype. Niners are being looked at as a scary wild card team, and why not? They have one of the best OC minds in the league as their coach and one of the best young quarterbacks in the league. That's a recipe for success. Plus, we're getting better and closer as a team. I mean, this offseason has been quite a turnaround since it started off in a negative perspective. It quickly just turned into something that was more bonding and, and this Ruben Foster thing, I think, brought the guys closer together. I really do believe that because you see players were on full support with Foster, even with this news that broke. It turned out to be all false, but still, you know, moments like these do really bring people together. And so um, it was nice to see the support. Uh, Sherman again stepping in, supporting Foster. It's, it's always a thing when your leader does not show any panic, fatigue, stress. Um, he's just going out there working his butt off. Guys are gonna follow suit. And it starts with your leader. It starts with Jimmy G, it starts with the coach, it starts with the GM, it starts with, you know, the guys who are gonna lead your team. So, nice to see. Bringing the faithful together. Let's be honest, guys. After Harbaugh left, we were all pissed at Jed, and rightfully so. We were actually pissed at everybody in the Niners organization. We suck, man, and looked like we didn't even belong in the league. But now, now, we have the right group of guys running this team. Kind of piggybacking on, on my last point there, Jimmy has, in a weird way, brought everyone together because, you know, winning is the best deodorant, right? Because when you win and there's problems, nobody cares. It's when you lose and there's problems where things just get blown up. Right? This Ruben Foster thing would have been worse, believe it or not, if the Niners did not, you know, ended up with a 1 in 15 record. That's just the reality of the situation. And he brought us hope. He brought us hope. He's the reason why I'm making this video. He's the reason why, you know, each and every one of you guys, including me, is amped up for this season. He is the one. Because now we have a quarterback. We have a quarterback, and we know it. I mean, he, he might not be the best quarterback, but we got one. We got one. And you know how hard it is to get that one. Just
just tell the Browns, just tell each and every franchise that is still looking for one. We got ours. And that that alone is the reason why you sign them to that five-year contract. But as always, I like to hear from you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I mean, is there anything that, that I missed? We touched on Richard Sherman signing. We touched on Des trying to sign with the Niners. And we touched on the national media buying into the hype. Again, if there's something I missed, go ahead and you know add that in the comment section below. Jimmy G effect, it's real and it's coming. 2018 season, man. I cannot wait. See you until the next one, guys. Peace.